In this tutorial, we will fine-tune Llama 2 with just a few lines of code using a Python package my team created called Happy Transformer. Now with Happy Transformer, only a few lines of code are required to fine-tune Llama 2. And this is due to how uh, we just released a new version called version 3, which supports a software called DeepSpeed, which allows for distributed training. Now to perform distributed training, we need to rent a multi-GPU instance, which can be quite hard and expensive to rent nowadays. But thankfully, a platform called RunPod has great availability for the type of instances we need. So you can create an account by clicking sign up, and then head over to billing to add some funds to your account. Then go to secure cloud and rent an eight by A6000 instance. If you're lucky, you might be able to rent an 8x A100 instance, but for now, I recommend focusing on securing this instance right here. Click Deploy, and then click Customize Deployment, and increase the amount of storage for your instance, and change the template to PyTorch 2.0.1. Confirm this is enabled, and hit Continue. Then hit Deploy. You will be brought to this pods tab where you can now connect to your instance. So hit this drop down menu, select connect, then connect to Jupyter Lab. And here we are. Open up terminal and let's start installing some dependencies. Now I recommend copying and pasting uh, code snippets from this tutorial down below just to speed yourself up. So if you scroll down, uh, the first step is to install DeepSpeed. So copy this right here and hit run. And if we head back over to the next step, we can install Happy Transformer and we will be using version 3.0.0. Go to this form right here to request access to Llama2. Use the same email address that you use for your Hugging Face account. Now, maybe you don't want to wait to be approved or maybe you don't have a Hugging Face account and want to move on with this tutorial. Well, don't worry. Uh, you can also use a model called GPT-J going forward for this tutorial, which also works very well. Now, assuming you want to use a Llama 2, you'll also have to log into Hugging Face. So copy this command here, paste it in and log in. You should see something like this when you are done logging in. I used a write token because I plan on pushing the final fine-tuned model to Hugging Face's model hub. Let's head over to the article and copy the training script, which is very short and simple. Now, in this example, we are using a data set called Billsum, which contains summarizations of US bills, but that doesn't really matter because ultimately you just have to produce two text files, train.txt and eval.txt. And then from there, it's just a matter of a few lines of code to begin training your model with whatever text is within these two files. And that's all there is to it. So I suggest that you modify this code right here and right here with custom code to take whatever data set you want to fine tune the model with and convert it to two text files. If you don't have um, a split, an eval split, you don't even need this right here and you can train a model with just a train text file, which will then automatically split this into a uh, train and eval split. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. And for now, we can use this default right here and begin training a model. I mentioned before that if you have not been approved for Llama 2 yet, you can fine tune GPT-J instead, but I have been approved and the title of this video is how to fine tune Llama 2. So we will be fine tuning Llama 2 and thus I commented out this and uncommented this line right here and I'll do so for the saving code at the bottom as well. To run the script, use the command deep speed, and then the name of the script, train.py, and hit enter. After running this, the model will download and Happy Transformer will perform data pre-processing and begin fine tuning. The starting loss for the model was 2.514 on the eval data, and as we can see, it has been decreasing steadily. We can copy this command right here, watch NVIDIA SMI, open up a new terminal and paste it in. And this will help us monitor the GPU utilization. And here we are getting high ratios, which means we are making effective use of the GPUs we have rented. The next step in the tutorial is to use a platform called Weights and Biases or WNB to track various metrics like the eval loss over the course of training in a 
nice, easy to use web interface, but this is not strictly required, so I will not be covering it now. However, you can subscribe for future videos, which might leverage this platform. Then the next section is on hyperparameters. You might be able to achieve better performance through modifying parameters like the learning rate and num train epochs. But again, this is not strictly required for now. However, there is one parameter I would like to draw your attention to, and that is the max length parameter, which is currently set to 256. This means when you pass a text file, it will be segmented into sections of 256 tokens uh, to be used for training or evaluating. Now, you can have greater control over this through passing a CSV file, and I will cover this in future videos. But for now, you should know that if you increase this, you will have longer context lengths for fine-tuning your model, but that will come at the cost of additional VRAM usage. The script has finished and the model has been saved to a folder called the Llama, so we can head back over to the article and copy this code to perform inference with the newly fine-tuned model. We will create a notebook, paste this code in, and before you run it, uncomment this line of code right here to specify we want to use a Llama instead of GPTJ, and let's hit run. And the model will continue whatever text we provided. So here we are providing the model with something very general, we, so we expect it to produce something that sounds like a legal bill, and it produced will give the state until June 30th, 1999 to make additional reprogramming of its Title I funds, and then it continues. So in my opinion, this does sound like a legal bill, so I think the model was fine-tuned successfully. And the first time you perform inference, the model has to be loaded into the GPU, which takes some time, and we can even see the amount of VRAM that is being used when the model is not performing inference at all. It is currently resting within uh, the first GPU. So the next time we perform inference, it will be faster. We can copy this here, hit run. And it did not take very long. And again, at first glance, it does look like a legal bill. Finally, you can push your model to Hugging Faces Model Hub with this line right here. And that's it. Subscribe for more upcoming videos on fine-tuning Llama 2 and other similar models with Happy Transformer.